Hi, welcome to this video. We are celebrating one year, 17,500 users. I really never imagined something like this when I started one year ago. Uh, there's a really nice community on Discord going on and I really enjoy making materials. So I wanted to thank everyone for your support. We missed a 2.2 update. So I'm going to make a video with, the, with both. 2.2 and 2.3. We are going to go through all the new materials and assets. So let's get started. Okay, one of the things uh, you can download now on any version of uh, Sanctus Library. I added this uh, simple demo scene because uh, some people have a hard time to uh, achieve the same results that they see in the thumbnails. We have uh, other materials, everything that is not fabric, or uh, surface like uh, floors or walls. As you can see, this camera is, uh, let's see, this is the other mats camera, so it corresponds to this. If we hide this, we have the fabrics, and we can change this to fabric camera. And last one, surface, and we change to surface camera. And this is basically the thumbnails you see here. Here you can test your materials. As you can see, the displacement is working because the parameters are already set to work with displacement. Okay, let's see all the assets added in version 2.2. First, uh, with the geometry nose assets. We mostly added ropes and cables here. We have barbed wire, chains. This is the update from November. You can simply add the asset and you will have the options on the modifier tab. You can change the radius of the wire. You can change uh, the spacing. There's a control for the length of the tips. And here we can control the twist of the cable. Then, as usual, if you go to edit mode, we are going to delete this and we are going to use the draw. You can use it to draw on surface or cursor, that's up to you. And you can just draw the wire like this. So it's up to you. If you want more control, you can do it manually like this, or you can draw them. The change was something from the last last uh, 2.1. So we already saw that. We have a uh, cable, basic cable there, add asset. As you can see here, there's a curve icon. That means that this is meant to be applied to a curve. Here we can control the color of the two different cables, the twisting, how many cables there are. It will alternate these two colors. There's a four cable or sub cables. I don't know how to call those. Uh, the radius and resolution also to make it look smoother. You can change colors there. And of course, the control again, if you want to draw more cables, you can do it like that. Then we have the cable and surface. This is meant to be used on an object as a target. So we are going to use maybe a cube and we will bevel everything a bit like this. So first we are going, we are not going to assign this to an object. We're going to add the, the asset. On the modifier uh, properties, you will find a target object that you have to select. In our case is this cube. So I will search for that. And now the endpoints will attach to the surface of that uh, object. I will go to edit mode. And I will, in this case, I want to, to delete everything. And I will use the draw mode. I will use uh, on surface because I want to draw on this object's surface. And I will start drawing, for example, and we have a cable there, as you can see. 
you can add as many as you want. You can control the distance of the cable. Uh, this is the the part of, of the ends there, the distance of the tips in case you use different tips because you can change them here. The cable radius, everything is there. Another thing I added, it's in the tools here. We have wireframe, turntable. This was from the previous version, so I won't be talking about this. Uh, for example, turntable, I select this. Apply to select object. And we have here the duration in frames. So uh, it will, in this case, let's change this to timeline. And we have in 100 frames, it will go from zero to 360. This is a linear animation. This is the axis you want to the rotation to occur. And then you animate and you will see it will in this case, 360 in 100 um, frames. And in the case you want to use this uh, on multiple objects, we have to, for example, I will place these two are inside of a collection. I have to create an object outside of this, this uh, collection, and I will create just uh, an object as a container, I will apply this asset to the object, reimport asset to have a new copy, and I will change this to the collection, the target collection, replace object to collection. I will hide the target collection here. And now, as you can see, we have the animation for the two objects at the same time. We also have a wireframe a tool. I will select the object and apply the asset to the object. And you can control the emission here. Change the color. And you have wireframes there. OK, let's see the material for the 2.2 version. We have the hammer of metal. We have modeling clay. We have carbon fiber. We have painted metal with a lot of controls that you can you can try. The peeling here. We have a decay, it's like the color becomes like older. Here we have a, a control for to change the metal to rust. Uh, for example, and you can change the color of the paint. You have some presets here. We also have the rusty metal. We also have a generic wood. Let's apply this. You have even control on the knots. Like no knots and an exaggerated amount of them. You can always try to adjust. This rotates the, the texture to have different patterns. You have a seed also. Damage here, as you can see, little scratches. You can adjust the colors, and you also have uh, some presets. And this, and this one. We also have uh, the doodles here, the tangerine. We need a UV sphere, subdivision, adaptive. Apply material.
Okay, let's see some of the 2.3 materials now. We have the anti-slip. Let's control for the scale, the seed, color, metallic, roughness. The one is like if the top of the the things is uh, peeled or not, as you can see there. And also the pattern is, uh, you can adjust the pattern also, how many of the those things it has, the shape, the thickness. So you can generate a lot of different variations. There's a few uh, presets here. We also have a uh, plaster wall. This is, I'm trying to make more materials without displacement because some people struggle with that. So, and to avoid a, a lot of uh, mesh density. So here we have, this is just using bump. And we can control the scale of the everything, the seed. Control over the damage, the cracks, the dents, paint color. The colors, if they're leaking or not. This is meant to be a wall, so that will be the ceiling. The color of the plaster. We have also a fake uh, ambient occlusion there and the bump control some presets again then we have the polka dots uh, with different presets here we have iridescence different presets we also have this one and some presets also and then we have the skin the and on experimental because it's something quite experimental and we have skin alien skin We have the ice cream uh, material. And we have here also a new material the egg carton with control for the cracks and the missing eggs and amount of eggs for example 0 0.5 will be missing half of the eggs and this is the amount of eggs that are cracked so at zero we have no cracks and one every single egg will be cracked we also have a um, duct tape material here is a classic version red Let's see the detail here a black version and i think that's it so thanks for watching and see you on the next updates